<laughs> Here at the community pool in winters, there isn't a day that you won't find Miss Bobby Greenwood cheering on kids during their swim meets. It makes me feel very good to know that we have that so many people are using this pool and so many children have learned to swim. She is here seven days a week, even for their practices. It's been a wonderful, wonderful thing for me to be able to do. I loved it. Okay. This fall, she turns 100 years old. She's got more energy than all of us put together. She really does. And it's, a, it's an inspiration to all of us. The community of Winters says what everyone should know is that in the 50s, she's the one who led a big movement to have a pool built here in the first place. When we first came to this community, uh, I looked around and there was no swimming pool. And it was so hot. I thought, that can't be that they don't have a swimming pool. There was no place for kids to go in an organized manner and had take swim lessons around winters. And so she's the one that really pioneered this and got it going, and then she's run the program ever since. The school district donated the land, and Miss Bobby started fundraising to make it all a reality. It's brought the community together. Everybody knows Miss Bobby, and uh, finally we've even named the pool after her. Miss Bobby estimates that over the last 60 years, she has taught more than 12,000 kids in winters to learn to swim, and she says she has no plans of slowing down. Thank you, sweetheart, and I love to see all of you swim. And everything kids sure look up to Miss Bobby. Me and my sister always talk about that we want to be just like Bobby when we grow up. And parents say decades ago she coached them too. I'm not the only one that's gone on to college and swam after being in her program here. So yeah, she's saved people's lives. Even on triple digit days, she says there's no place she'd rather be than watching kids overcome their fears. Everybody needs to know how to swim. Save your life someday, maybe. In winters, Leticia Ordaz, KCL Ray 3 News.